hello all i am dr sendil kumar working as a scientist c at icmr national institute of epidemiology in this session we are going to cover referencing using zotero zotero is one of the reference management tool so we need to know what are the key functions or uses of any reference management tools before entering into zotero so reference management tools are used to collect and organize your references generating the citations and the bibliographics from the collected references and you can convert or change your referencing styles based on your journal requirements those who are working in the research field know that already available reference management tools like innote mandeley and zotero these are the widely used reference management tools in the research field in this session we are going to cover only zotero in the coming slides we will see what is zotero and its e its key functions how to download and install zotero compound and key functions of zotero create and managing a library how to import the data from other sources and export the data to some other websites or applications how to create a in text citations in ms office or ms word how to create a reference list or bibliographics how to create a group library to work with your colleagues or co researchers so what is zotero zotero is a free and open source application it's a reference management tool and it's used to manage your all bibliographic data and you, you can integrate with the web browser you can do the online syncing also you can generate in text citations using zotero the zotero is following key functions like any other reference management tools you can collect your relevant research documents from various sources you can organize it by creating a separate folders for each projects you can cite it you can sync it with your online you can collaborate with your co researchers the first and foremost important thing is we need to download and install zotero to use all its features how to do that like any other softwares go to google search type zotero.org/download now you see that there are two options one is zotero 5.0 for windows another one is zotero connector the zotero for windows is application that's a software just click the download button the application will be downloaded like any other software you install it by clicking next next and finish it it will be stored in your c drive and you can see the icon in your desktop the another one is zotero connector that's extension once you install you can see in your bookmarks it will appear in right upper corner of your web there is one more option called login in the previous slides we say that we can do syncing with your online so to do that we need to create an account give your basic details you can create an account once you install your zotero just a click that button the page the application will be opened this is how it will like there is no folder as of now because we not yet created anything here it says welcome to zotero you can see the left one the middle one and right one we'll see one by one what is that so what we see that component and functions of zotero so the left panel is called the libraries it has all your folders each folder has your research project documents or dissertation documents thesis documents or your working things the middle one is called resources it has all the relevant documents which you stored in your folder the right side panel called metadata it has the information of your articles it has the information like a, a title of the your article author's details uh, the publication here like it has all the information of any relevant research documents so if you are not created your account as we discussed in the previous slides you can create your account here or you can log in so that is useful to sync your all the relevant works with online so to do that just to go to edit you see the left panel you can see the edit option select 
preference option then a box will be appeared you can use a sync option then write your username and a password then click ok so now you created a account you sync with your online one in these slides we are going to see some of the basic functions available in the zotero you see that file edit view and tools help options in the file it has the following key functions you can add new item it may be articles or books you can write small notes about that articles you can create a new folder by clicking new collection you can import the data from other sources you can export the library also basic functions like cut copy paste search or the preference can be done using that edit option you can change the layouts and font size using that view and you can install um, browsing connectors add-ons under the tool section Zotero's discussion forum also if you have any queries you need doubts you can discuss with the other peoples using the discussion forums and you can the download and the relevant documents from the help option so far we know that how to download Zotero and install the Zotero we know the basic components and the functions of Zotero so once you downloaded the next step is creating a library for your own project or own research how to do that just to go you see that a folder with a plus sign just to click that button a box will be appeared like any other box if you are using the system you know that to create a folder you see the symbol just to click that folder you need to enter the a title of the project or dissertation like this you can do it here if you enter your title then click ok you can see the left side the panel library panel you can see your folder name so once you created your folder the next step is you need to input the data related to your research topics or dissertations from where we can get the relevant documents you can get data published articles from the databases like a PubMed, Google Scholar, Scopus, Web of Sciences published research articles, web portals, websites newspapers news articles blogs pdf etc these are the common sources for your research studies you can get the relevant articles from here how to import the selected articles from here from this databases or research articles we will see now so as all of you aware that we already installed zotero connector that extension once you install that extension you can see that book marks option right side upper corner you can see that set symbol that is Zotero connector so if you want to collect some relevant articles or information from the Google Scholar say example uh, you want to collect uh, some COVID-19 relevant articles entering COVID-19 you see the list of articles available uh, in the Google Scholar Ex import the first article you see the citation icon below that article the double comma mark you see click that one a box will appear with the different citation styles like APA Vancouver and anything now below that you can see the ref manage that ref man is a reference management it indicates the reference management if you click that one it will be saved in the reference management tool Zotero there is one more option that's using Zotero connector you see here there is a Zotero connector icon in the right upper corner of your page just to click that icon it will ask what are the articles you need to include here in the box you select the article by clicking the box and say ok then it will be stored in your folder so that is from databases if it is from website say example if a WHO website you want to include in your references you can see that again the zotero icon just if you just open that your website click that button and it will be stored in the zotero folder maybe if it is from newspapers you can do the same by just clicking the zotero folder it will be stored in your zotero so sometimes which you downloaded from uh, databases or 
news articles or blogs may have some incomplete information you can edit in the metadata panel see in the previous slides we have seen that in this zotero it has three panels the left side is called library the middle one is called resources the right one is called metadata the left side it has all your research folders based on your dissertation or thesis the middle one is resources it has all the relevant articles related to your research projects if you click any one article you can see the information about that article in the right panel metadata panel is article type article title uh, author details publications years volumes issues and other relevant data here you can edit it if you think that the article is wrong or there is some errors in that article title you can edit here just to click that place you can edit you see that that blue color just you can edit it if you want to change the author details also you can edit it if something wrong in the publication here you can edit it apart from uh, importing data from the databases websites or any uh, magazines or any other sources there is other way also say example if you are working in a systematic review or finalizing your keywords and a search strategy after that you are downloading uh, around 150 articles from the pubmed and you want to import that 150 articles into zotero you can do that just to go to file and select import options and locate if you click that import option you can identify your uh, file where you stored your uh, all the articles then click that one that all article will be uploaded here At the same time if you want to export your collection the same example if you are doing the systematic review you want to export all your collection to the another application maybe Ryan you can do that one so say select that folder you can do the right click you can see the export to collection option just click that one and it will be stored in where you want after some times if you are working in Zotero you have created many files many folders uploaded hundreds of articles this is how the library would look like you can see the left side all your research folders if you click any folder it will show all the relevant related articles in your resource panel if you click any article in that you can see the data of that articles in the right side panel metadata panel here the interesting things comes so far we know what are the basic functions how to create a library how to import the data in the zotero now we do that how to do in text citations in ms word in the coming slides the next important part of zotero is doing in text citations in ms word first we need to add word adding to do in text citation in ms office just to go to edit select the preference a box will appear select the site and install ms office word in once installed open your ms office word you can see that zotero tab here there are some key functions in that if you click that zotero like add and edit citation add and edit bibliography document preference a refresh button and unlink citations these all functions you can see under Zotero tab. The first thing is that you need to select your citation style. To do that, just click the document preference after Zotero clicking. Once you click the document preference, a box will appear with a lot of citation styles. Select which citation style you want. Maybe it's a one cover. American Psychological Association, Elsewhere, Nature, select any citation styles for your research purpose. Then click OK. Here your document citation style will be stored here. So the next step is if you are working in the manuscript, research papers or dissertations or thesis anything. If you want to add your citations here, just go 
on the select to add citation in your manuscript or research paper or a thesis or dissertation just click add and citation button once you click that button a red color box will appear you can type your research article title so example if you are working on the covid you already created a folder you uploaded all uploaded or imported all your relevant documents in that folder select that folder open your zotero and select that folder come to ms office here just type that your title of the article the articles will be appeared here you can select any articles that citation will be appear in your document there is one more way the same like just to go to uh, click add and edit citations you see the red color box will appear you can see the small drop down box button just next to zotero icon select the classic view once you select the classic view it will go to your zotero application there is another way to add citations in your manuscript same like go to add and edit citation the red color box will appear you can see the small drop down button next to that icon just click that one you can see the classic view here if you click that classic view it will go to your zotero application you can see the folders your selected articles you can see all here just select your folder research folder you can see all your research articles here select you can select single articles or multiple articles once you select the articles multiple articles you can see that articles in the right side boxes then select ok that citation will be added in your manuscript so once you added your all your citations we need to create a reference list how to do that again go to ms office there is a one more option we can see that add and edit bibliographic right you can see it right add and edit bibliographic just to put cursor where you want to include your reference list then select add and edit bibliography all reference list will be appear here if you added 100 articles in your manuscript you can see the 100 articles here see that's yellow color that's a, we added that reference which we already cited in our manuscript apart from that there are few more options like a refresh and unlink citations the reference options say example if you're working in the manuscript you're rearranging all the uh, articles you entered wrongly you cited wrongly so you want to rearrange your order or so if you're rearranging the order just to click the refresh button it will be ordered again once you finalized your manuscript or dissertation if it is a manuscript you want to submit the journal if it is a dissertation we want to submit to the college or universities there is option called unlink here that unlink used uh, if you are submitting your manuscript to the journal or uh, you are submitting your completed dissertation to the university or college you can do the unlink you can unlink your citation uh, from the references once you did the unlink you are no longer able to edit it so make the decision very carefully so there is other way also to create a reference list so example if you are working in the covid 19 you created a folder you collected all your reference materials or documents books in that folder keep saved all your documents in that folder just by doing a right click or selecting the all articles you can see option is create bibliographic from that items select that items check and you select your citation style and your uh, bibliographic and select the bibliographic button select the format which format you want to maybe we select rta format then click ok that folder will be saved in your location so one more thing we discussed in the previous slides a group library so example your colleagues you your teammates or your colleagues co-researchers working in the collaborative project you want to share with your zotero library with your colleagues you can share with them so all of you can edit and work on the same manuscript or dissertations to do that first we need to create a folder in the previous slides we have seen that how to create a folder 
here we can say that how to create a new library the group library you see the next button the next to uh, folder button just to click that button a box will appear you can create a name that you all your group fold group library folders will appear below the folders see that we already created a folder and you can upload all your relevant articles in that folder you can share with your colleagues how to do that one as all of you are aware that we already created a account in zotero go to online use your username and password enter into the online zotero you can see the online zotero like this you can see that online zotero will appear like this the left again panel it has all your folders the middle folder it has all your resources on the right panel it has information about the articles here you can see the collaboration you can collaborate with your colleagues now we see that practical sessions how the zotero look like and how to do in-text citation in ms office uh, as we discussed during our the sessions uh, uh, we will see that how that zotero application the offline application will look like in your system so once you download or install your application in the system once you open that you can see that uh, three panels as we discussed in the slides so the left side panel is called a library the middle one is called resources and the right side panel is called metadata so i already synchronized using my uh, username and password so these all are my folders and my documents uh, so before that we will see the what are the options available uh, in the zotero so you can see that file option here you can add new item it can be the journal article or book or any other document like a map or presentation we can add any we can add anything in that and we can write a small note of that articles also by clicking new collection we can create a new folder and we can import and export the articles also under the, under the edit option we can use a basic options like a cut copy paste now apart from that we can use these two options uh, one is advanced search and another one is preference in advanced search if you select that one you can see that title and the contents and you can check your articles if you type any like any google if you click uh, if you write something on that you will find your article the another option is called preferences in the preference we have discussed during our sessions also there are two important things in the preference one is sync another one is citation style the sync is that we can uh, using our username and password we can sync with uh, our online so whatever we are working on that in the application it will automatically update in the online also so another one is citing your citation uh, references citation these styles so you i used the vancouver model so based on your needs or based on your journals or thesis or dissertation you can select any styles so i select vancouver for my style another option is view you can change your layout and font size using this option and another option is tools uh, in this tool we can create a timeline and install browser connector and add-ons there is help option also here if you are facing any issues we can get expert opinion using the discussion forums they will reply you and we can report some error also because these are the basic options of sotero apart from that there are some shortcuts like uh, the file we have seen that in new collection option so but there is a shortcut also just clicking the new collection you can create a new folder like if you just click that another uh, box will open uh, it will ask that your name give name for this folder just if i give that in like a kobe now folder will be created in the left panel that's called a library panel so you can bring all the relevant article in the folder so you can see all the folder uh, articles in the resource panel and you can see the data about that articles in the metadata panel so already i created an account if uh, this is my folder i have so many articles under this folder you can see all my articles in that if you click any one article you can see the data about that articles in the right side metadata panel 
you can see the article uh, journal is a journal article it's you can see the item type type and you can see the title of that article you can see the author list abstracts and the remaining uh, data like the volume issues iss and you can see the all the relevant data about that articles so you can see left side you can see the folders the middle resource panel see you can see the all the relevant articles in the folders and you can see the uh, data or each article information in the right side panel metadata panel and you can the uh, left side below in the lower corner you can see that keywords you can select it's automatically will select the keywords will be selected automatically you just clicking that keyword related to the article will be selected in your the resources folder thank you